Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of VGO The Longest Night, 100% water. Let's go to inventory, get rid of the dynamite here, get rid of the molotov. Let's fix, fix up the owl's feather there. And let's add the hand of shadow onto the tab, let's switch right to it. And let's begin the cemetery here. I'm gonna have an ambush jump from this guy here, we'll take him out really quick. Hand of Shadow. This guy can drop a bolt. He has the bolt type weapon. This guy will drop saw blade. As you can see, they drop whatever weapon they're carrying. So this was Iron Arrow. This was a Vertebra, which is an item that you can sell, and a Scapula, which is also an item that you can sell. So we're gonna be farming both weapons: the saw blade and the bow. I think it's a recurve bow, but I don't uh, fully remember. Fledgling's blood so. Knock this down. Um, we'll take out this guy. Whoops. Oh shit. Buddy Iron Nail. And... Saw Blade. We got it already. There is the stats on the Saw Blade. It also has a backstab damage plus 5%. Saw blade, half saw, half blade. This weapon causes damage by cutting and crushing. A truly savage tool of the trade. Another interact. Oops, I didn't mean to do it. Scapula. I pressed the up barrel to heal instead of the uh, instead of the analog stick left. Analog stick up to interact. Iron arrow and a vertebra. So now we just need the bow weapon. Here's healing potion. Gonna, can we get him? No, he has iframes. He's gotta wait till they fully appear. And them both. Nice. Back it up. We leveled up. Oh shit! I didn't backdrop enough. You know. I comboed into that bloodstained shovel, which we already have. Can't shadow him. Oh, he dodged out of it or something. Holy shit. Let's grab this, which is Bloody Bone. As a weapon, it's pretty primitive. Its range is short, but its number is infinite. So we'll keep that with us. Okay, so let's continue. Oh, let's uh, look at this freaking bad here. Okay, let's go up here first. There's going to be a secret behind us. I think I forgot to get the chest. We'll get that in just a second. Let me clear these guys. Okay, got them all. Saw blade, scapula. And the blood shard. We're gonna go back. Oh, here's the bull guy. We'll go back for the chest in just a second. Just wanna make my way to the shortcut first. Alright, when you get to this point, there's two bats above. Let's take them out first. Oh, there's a bull guy. Watch out for him. Let's grab that saw blade. Or a scapula. And a saw blade. Let's see if he drops it. No, he drops iron arrows. There's one over here. We have a bat. Alright, so grab this chest. It is Sada's gloves. Perfectly designed to hold weapons. These were clearly owned by an experienced warrior. Endowed with magic, the gloves will fit any hand. So that's what the gloves do. I'm gonna keep the other ones on that I have right now. Psst. Wow, really, buddy? Can these guys not jump? See in frankincense. Let's read that. This frankincense is from a distant desert island. It emits a relaxing aroma even without burning. Increases mana while in your inventory.
There's another ambush right there. Get him. Trap him up. Okay, now we have a shortcut. Um, the fu- Oh yeah, I wait to hit the switch. Okay, I'm gonna try and get that bowl from the skeleton here first, and then we're gonna get the chest. Take care of that guy first. And... You wanna drop me or what? I'm just gonna tank right through him. Skip these guys. Okay, so the chest is right up here. This is 300 gold. Alright, now we got everything. I do want to go up here though, before I teleport. Just because there's another skeleton with the bull up here. Maybe we can get the um, bull from him. Here's a saw blade one, we'll take him out really quick. And we leveled up. Saw blade. Got another saw blade, but we can't get the bull. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, another drop. Of course. Let's teleport. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna farm the first skeleton with the bowl. So just touch that. Ignore this guy. Just dodge right through him. Ignore his ass. We just want the first skeleton with the bowl that we come across. Actually, was he up here? Oh yeah, he was up here. Where is he? There he is. I went too far down. Okay, so from this guy. Nothing. Let's teleport. So, might as well kill the other, this guy first. Get him out of the way. And then you can farm the uh, bull guy right here. Ignore the saw blade guy. Iron arrows and a vertebra. Maybe we can just come back here. Retouch that and continue farming until your cooldown for the teleport comes back, then you can teleport next time. So I'll start up my walk through here once I get the drop. And I got a Scar Recurve Ball with a Vertebra. Alright, so let me get to the uh, teleport here. So there is the stats on the Recurve Ball. This bolt is specifically designed to pack as much power as possible behind a weak pole. Even the weakest arm can deliver a mighty shot. Causes extra damage when using wooden arrows. Oh, there's something to note from the description. So if you use wooden arrows with this thing, it's going to cause bonus damage. That would be interesting to try out and test and see if it's even worth it. To use those arrows with it. Or a stronger type. Okay. You, what did you do to Bruna? I made a better Bruna. She's reached a higher existence than you. Higher than me. She should be thankful. How can you say that? Who would want to be that? Want is not important. The goddess leads us and she does not ask permission. Nonsense. Bruna would want this and neither would the goddess. You should surrender. Let me help you be free. Don't touch me. I don't want your higher existence. No. You and I are the same. We are cursed to these feeble forms. You don't understand. Only the chosen people ascend. I'll kill you. Try then. Look at yourself. You are nearly dead already. Now there should be a dead guy here. Or injured guy, I mean. Talk to him. Bruna, my love. I don't. Don't. Are you Graham? You're hurt badly. I have to take you back to town. No. He hurt Bruna and that damn tree. They turned her into something. Who did it? Who turned Bruna into? The professor. He's turning people into monsters. I never thought he'd do it to Bruna. My Bruna. He promised me he could heal Chris. There's one more girl, you must find her. I don't know where the professor would take her, but he needs to come back here for his rituals. So I'm waiting for him. Which rituals? The girl saw Bruna's turning ritual. They'll sacrifice her too. I know that he needs to come back here, back to the gates so I'll stay. 
and take revenge for Buddha. Ceremonial blouse has been acquired. Notes updated. In the Holy War at Night Stages, all believers have to wear a ceremonial blouse. It symbolizes the goddess's sacrifice of her holy body to protect the world and her transformation into the Shimmer. However, there's a spray of blood on the chest of this blouse, which is definitely not part of a ceremony. Investigate. I'm going to do the catacombs in the next episode. So I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to do a quick run around town though to see if I can get any new dialogue. And if there's anything new that I find, I will show it in the next episode before we start the catacombs. So I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.